the Australians continue this hot streak. As they look to secure a place in the final. Argentina in the blue and white hoops and the green and gold of Australia to face Fiji in the decider. There's an area where both teams are being strong is at the restart. And it was a really good start for Argentina. Lost the knock back, but then uncharacteristic from Hassan Velez to make an error like that. It's been a one-on-one -on -one battle, and they win it through Argentina. Hassan Velez has had a little look, didn't he, to see where he's going before he secured the ball. Looked at the defense. And straight away, Australia have a very Five. good attacking position. Six. scrum just on their own side of halfway sets around the big blind side at the Tackle. moment but he's stopped by that man Velez and Australia the time bounce looking for Roach standing on the outside safe in there he's chopped down in a good tackle and Argentina pile in and they'll get the ball one at the ruck and here goes Moneta wants to get on with it quickly stands for a little kick oh it's perfect he's done it again Marcus Moneta Taking it upon himself, the World Sevens Player of the Year. Stand the kick into the ground, the bounce set up for him, and Moneta scores early for Argentina. Yeah, a lot of focus is put on his attack, but it's his defense that gets the job done. He's the one that gets the turnover, the chip and chase. How good is that? Good recognition from the young man, and we know he's a note to try score. Just the way he rakes those kicks as well. It's a real skill. Ricky, and when you're doing it full noise like that, it's a very tough skill to execute, but he does it so well, as you say. I did say yesterday, as a kid, obviously loved his soccer and football. Made the call to go with rugby, and well, it's working pretty well for him. Seven tries for the tournament, and the first of this match converted as well. Argentina, seven points to nil. Early on in the semi-final, great work in the air from Australia, Henry. Hutchison. Roach, the tool. Speaking of try scorers, he's got plenty in his basket. Corey Tool spins himself inside out and then hands it back for a skipper, Malou. Malou just buries the head and goes hard into contact. Can't get out of their own half, though, at the moment, Australia. Trying to be patient and build through Hutchison. Looking for the runner and just a complete misunderstanding between Hutchison and Turner, a rare one. From Australia. Yeah, and that look just here says that all there was no comms on the edge there. Hutchison so experienced, expecting the outside break. There it is, and they come through late. You have to talk up there when you come in. That's a mistake there by Josh Turner. Both of these teams have reached cup finals this season, but haven't been able to finish the job. Got to get there first, though. And at the moment, it's Argentina with their noses in front in the semi. Big man Tomas Schultz, and this time Stanza Petru is offside though yet. He's got a fly up. Moneta, he doesn't need one. He's fast enough, but too quick out of the blocks that time. Yeah, he caught it. From out wide. This would be a good angle of it. Here or oh, just a step. As you see, Mick Hogan was right in line there, so good call. Offside. Shot from the ref. get a chance to attack themselves. Oh, Roach got ball and man almost at the same time. It was Lesko who made the tackle on Cedric Roach. Laid it back nicely though. Here's Hutchison for the captain, Malouf, ridden into the ground. Turner, Hutchison again goes away to the right as Australia look for a little crack in the defence and Roach has just backed himself and all of a sudden, I don't know if they realise quite how quick Cedric Roach was and away he went to strike back for Australia. Great effort from the youngster, Cedric Roach. I like him. I really, really do in that centre position. Him and his combination with Corey Tull has really been a feature over the last couple of weekends. With Del Mestre, he thought he had help on the outside. He tried to come over late, but Roach just skimmed him on the outside. Yeah, but an impressive young man. And he's really taken to international sevens. Cedric Roach, and he'll convert his own try to square us all up in the second cup semi-final. There he is, leading point scorer by quite some margin. Cedric Roach, seven apiece now.
just over three minutes to play in the half. Yeah, he's played a lot of minutes for this Australian team too. Roach and he's to kick it. Then he convert right in front and now he's to get back to do the kickoff. So a lot of responsibility for the young man and he hasn't shirked it, that's for sure. Great work in the air by Argentina. Simon Schultz. As is so often the case, Argentina after starting well and find themselves back on level terms, trying to bust a way through. Castro Moses is spinning on the way through. There was no support as Kazan Velez went to ground. And so now Australia go and go quickly to Tool. Tool to the line and then a good ball floated right out in front of Josh Turner. Oh, the little stutter step. Wonderful work from Turner. Couldn't get them with the pace, so he got them with the footwork instead. And Australia, two quick tries, and they go in front in the semis. I haven't seen this very often. Argentina getting out-muscled at the breakdown. I think it was Matthew Gonzalez that did it. There's a dummy on the inside, the ball on the outside. Yeah, I thought he had blown it, but there, the little stutter step, as you said. And he goes through two defenders. That's outstanding for Josh Turner. Oh, he's totally run out of room, hasn't he? Oh, oh. oh a little swerve of the hip. from out wide. This time is no good. But Australia responds to the early score from Argentina to grab two of their own and go in front. 12 points to seven. Yeah, this is why they've been so successful. Their consistency this year from Australia. They're chasing their third ever cup final in the series. Roach again will target are onto the field in 13. Shepard but Argentina towards the sideline. Del Nestor it was. He managed to keep it in field, did Sorry, well, and then they the can player. see the penalty. Australia just to undo a little bit of the good work. Argentina so dangerous here before half time. Yeah, they have to tackle quite a lot. I'm not surprised they're going to. The line out set piece is pretty strong. Half time here to go. So see their attitude after this ball goes out. or so. Stay there, goal. Over to go to set piece. And they've just managed to hold on to it, Argentina. And that allows them to build their attack out wide. Mineta. Mineta gets rid of one and then just puts the afterburners on and steams around the outside of the Australian defenders. He's going to take on another one and they are not going to lay a finger on Marcus Mineta. There are sparks flying out of those boots. He moves so quickly. What a superstar he is. What I like about this from Argentina, they give the ball to him early and just let him go. No mucking around. He says it's not on the outside. He goes through four defenders, and from there, he hits the angle. And you know what he's got? Ricky home, run, speed, as Moneta. Well, every so often an athlete comes along that lights up a sport. And look no further than that young man in sevens rugby, Marcos Moneta. He's got his team back on turns, and at halftime, in the second cup semi-final, it's Australia 12, Argentina. Yep. Outstanding semi-final so far. Which of these teams can see at home? Dietrich Roach for Australia to restart this match, and it's taken in well by Argentina. And good off the restarts, clattering and crashing his way through his escrow. Australia appealing for a knock-on. It was a little bit loose on the ground from Del Mestre. Instead, it's a penalty for Argentina, and they pile forward again. Good chop tackle around the ankles. Hutchison on escrow, but Mineta clears away quickly and now up through the middle. Just the experience of Firman Schultz. Recycling, retaining possession quickly, and then on the wraparound, Del Mestre can't quite link up with Moneta, and Hutchison is urgent. To the loose Under ball, pressure. there's a knock on on the ground. On white Almost on the ground. opened them up again, though. Yeah, they've come out with enthusiasm, haven't they? The Pumas, Australia just hanging on, though. Desperate tackle. I like the wraparound from this Argentinian attack. 
Dante Gomez Cora. Well, we've seen him chip a chase a few times for a number of tries. The first ever to 200. He's done fantastic work with the changeover with this new squad that he's got. Come on. Let's go. Crouch. Maurice Longbottom onto the field Five. for Australia. Then using him off the bench, interchanging with yeah. Matt Gonzalez throughout this tournament. Got a live wire long bottom. Hit Hesse for him though, and just lost it on the ground. It was a tangle of bodies and feet, and he's furious. It's the physicality of this Argentinian team. You can just feel it lift a little bit in the second half, Rick, and it's something the Australians are going to have to deal with. You saw an example of it there. The push it, the scrum time. New Zealand did it on day one. A couple of teams have done it here on day two. The really challenge the team who put it in a scrum physically, and Argentina get the turnover. Five. Six. Options left and right here for Argentina and Bethan Velez and still it's messing with him and now the penalty goes the other way. Yes, the comeback from the Australians with the pressure at scrum time. How good's that? One for one. There's Nathan Lawson striding away from that scrum. Nick Malouf, chest puffed out. What about those two? Normally teams are going to go to the sideline, but the Aussies are going to keep ball in hand. I like this. Tapping it 10 metres out from their own goalpost is Josh Turner and trying work a move to get them downfield it's big heavy contact on Hutchison from Schultz and a little bit uh, too high here. so the penalty no, 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 counts let's here. take the penalty really on the mark happened, not where it ended up high tackle here again. Well, Tucker again is the call so obviously got the set piece that went to the far side and come back with Henry Hutchison yeah it was a high shot for sure going? let's go straight away please try and work the same move here it is Turner goes away to the left Hutchison comes over to the right instead they go out the back for Roach who puts on a smart little bit of work in the air Martin. but can't Martin. haul in the ball and the turnover quickly goes from defense to attack for Argentina looking to scoot his way through Moneta the way he accelerates towards that gap they just catch him on the five meter line playing under advantage is Argentina they won't need it because Mazan Valles makes Australia pay for the error they swooped upon the mistake and Argentina score after the break. And we see a wide shot of it. There's one decoy run that allowed Moneta to go through. There's a decoy run. I think it was Schultz. And Moneta was the one that was out the back door. He sets it up brilliantly, even though he felt awkwardly, awkwardly and from there. It's just to draw and pass. from wide is just away to the left so still Australia in striking distance but it's Argentina who go in front 17 points to 12. The decision not to kick for the line out from Australia deep in your own 22 it cost them here they need this kickoff still a long time to go. Good idea the execution though that's a towering restart for Argentina and it's not that brilliantly into the arms of Luciano Gonzalez and quickly they get Moneta into the action just slightly stumbled but is able to draw and pass beautifully for Rodrigo Espo with the swan dive as well Did you see anything late in the Argentina Did you see anything got it on a string the at the moment Australia need to find a way back into it Argentina swoop out 22 points to 12 and this is what speed does when you got speed on the edge such as Moneta you can't help they have to send numbers over. Nice draw and pass. Oh, geez. That shot might have another look at. Nick Maloof, the skipper. Might be in a bit of strife here for Australia. Yeah, Nick Hogan, the referee, has seen it. And so trouble's compounding for Australia. Nick Maloof. Time on. The captain will go to the bench for two minutes. I've been in this position where you come in and just got the timing in. Obviously, height wrong. But that's pure, purely because of the speed of Moneta. He couldn't drift off. He tries to turn late. That's Nick Maloof. He just got it all wrong technique-wise. There's the loneliest place in a seven stadium for Nick Maloof for the next two minutes. 24 points to 12 now. Argentina from 12 all. where Argentina has been good. Special. Schultz, Klein, Klein is a good contest though and it's Turner who knocks it down for Australia this time. Must score 
net and must score quickly. Australia, they haven't been really able to get the likes of Corey Till into the action as much as they usually have. Longbottom, what can he create for Australia? Going up through the middle, running away from Till and then an obstruction ball that goes against them. Clearly in front of the referee. Trump's had good control of this game. Yeah, because they got that two-score lead here, Argentina going to choose the scrum. Clearly, inadvertently, the supporting player in the robe, Maurice Longbottom, just trying to make something happen. But this is game management now for Argentina. Less than a minute to go. Sub. It's impressive for Argentina and that ability to switch and find Moneta and Moneta to get himself into the action, either to set himself up, take off, or set up the outside. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, we'll bring the sub on. Find the well, smart players, they give them the ball early, and I think that's been the secret, Ricky, where sometimes teams have a little look, and then they pass it on, have a look, a little look, and then by the time they get it to the wing, the defense is up, but they've gone out to them straight away. There's the three on two. Time on. They can manipulate it here, Argentina. Five. Six. Early. Early. Free kick early. goes Australia's way. And they know you can see rushing. They know they need to get on with this now. Roach. Roach again looking to get around the outside. Cut back in field for Tool. Gets rid of Moneta and then rid into the ground. And heavy contact by Wade. Now Roach down the short side. Running along that sideline. It'll be turnover ball. Great work. Had the breakdown again from Argentina from Hassan Velez this time. Yeah, the try score doing fantastic work at the breakdown. I think along with the restarts, that's where they've owned it here, Argentina, in this cuff semi. And now just waiting, looking up to the giant screen here at BC Place, hearing the hooter, and Argentina go through to the cup final again. They will get the chance to take on Fiji for the title here in Vancouver. It was tight in the first half. They were clinical in the second, and Argentina beat Australia 24 points to 12.